Hi, this is Luke with the Gamer, and this is everything you need to know about follower quests in the new Monster Hunter Rise expansion, Sunbreak. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak brings a lot of new mechanics, challenges and monsters for you to experience. And within all the novelties this expansion covers, there's a particularly fun one that will take the single player experience to a whole new level. Let's take a look at follower collab quests. These quests will allow you to hunt at your leisure without worrying too much about matchmaking or playing online, instead allowing you to hunt powerful foes aided by beloved NPCs from Monster Hunter Rise, as well as newcomer characters from Sunbreak. Here's everything you need to know about it. Followers are the NPCs that can escort you into a new type of hunting mission called Follower Collab Quests. You can unlock many of them and get to hunt with classic characters such as Fujin, Hinoa, Rondine or Minoto, and also familiarise yourself with new characters like Admiral Gallius, Dame Fiorain or Sir Jay. After reaching a certain point in the main story, Dame Fiorain will take you on a hunt with her accompanying you. After completing that quest, follower collab quests will be unlocked. There are two types of follower collab quests, follower quests and support surveys. The first ones are quests where you'll team up with a specific NPC of the Monster Hunter Rise or Sunbreak roster, and after you complete the first one, they will be able to accompany you. Keep in mind that every character has a series of follower quests that will unlock as you finish the previous ones, so even if you unlock them as eligible companions, you still have work to do. Once you've unlocked a follower, they will be eligible to accompany you on any of the support surveys. These are master rank quests that you cannot play solo by any means. You can bring up to two follower NPCs and they vary in difficulty from master rank 2 to 6. To keep things spicy, each follower can change their weapon between several different options. Every NPC has their own quest line, and after you complete their first follower quest, you'll gain access to more missions indicated by purple speech bubbles that will help you to eventually unlock them as companions, and obtain their signature weapon and armor sets as available designs in the blacksmith. The full list of all follower quests in the game can be found in the original guide, so make sure to head over to thegamer.com to check it out. So that's all you need to know about follower quests in the brand new Monster Hunter Rise expansion Sunbreak. Thanks for watching and check out thegamer.com for more.